favorite examples are about digital identity and voting, when you can actually vote and government cannot alter the data and just false, make it false uh, elections. Uh, the other thing is copyright and also what you said about the pictures that can be <coughs> clues for investigators, which is also important. And the third thing is um, kind of storing of our information and owning it. Because like now we all use Google Docs and they are very useful tools. And you can track um, the edits, you can store it for a lot of people. But this data is owned not by you, it's owned by Google. And any moment it can just shut down. Yeah, they, they rent it back to you at $5 per, yeah. month per user. Yeah, and I want to be sure that the information, the text that I create are saved and that I have access to them always. So this is, this is a very important uh, use case for blockchain. I was always thinking that community should benefit from what they do and from how they contribute to uh, the platform that they use. So when I started to know more about blockchain, I understood that, it, that it's possible that um, there are such examples as Steemit and other platforms that actually incentivize um, users for their input. And um, this is exactly what we do in Syndicator, uh, involving people in our ecosystem. And I believe that, as you said earlier, that putting their intelligence, actually making their mental investment, they can benefit from this. And I believe this is an important blockchain and that's what fascinated me so much. So um, about prediction, I just believe that now it's a more calm time for uh, building people uh, raised some crazy money. Now we all know that now we need to work. I think that uh, one of the applications of blockchain uh, it would be in terms of using data and uh, uh, implementing artificial intelligence there because we have a lot of data now and uh, if it will be saved on blockchain what artificial intelligence gives us in terms of analyzing it and building different strategies on it this can be massive uh, use case for that I believe now I know that Zenia, your, your company's uh, application is predictive analytics for investing decisions, both crypto and non-crypto. Uh, can you give us a little sense of how that is accessed? What is it about blockchain that makes that relevant? It might make your best case, if you would, that that might be a candidate for, for killer down. We use hybrid intelligence for... What, what is hybrid yeah, intelligence? Yeah, and hybrid intelligence is exactly um, a platform where we have users, now we have more than 120,000 analytics uh, who make forecasts, and this is our raw data. And in terms of uh, blockchain usage, we have history of each user, and this is very important um, because we can analyze their every uh, move, their every prediction, what are they best at, where they are the losers. So this all information is stored and can be analyzed and can be used by our um, machine learning models to create different products for um, building asset management strategies. So, like, we collect this data from people, uh, we leverage it with artificial intelligence, and at the end we have valuable indicators and sentiments of the market that help traders and investors to make more effective decisions. So, if I'm following you, you're crowdsourcing massive numbers of predictions from massive numbers of people. Yeah. You're storing that on the blockchain? Yeah. Which means that you can't then lie and pretend you didn't get it from somebody. So you're protecting yes. them. Mm -hmm. they, 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 hey, look, I signed an estate stamp. It's definitely from me. And you can crunch this massive set of data and come up with increasingly better investment predictions, it sounds like. Yes. So how do we, first off, way cool. And I'm wondering, what else could that approach be used to do? Well, this was um, um, initially created, the idea was about a tool for decision making. 
So it's easier to, it was easier to start from financial markets because it's easier to collect data and to train machine learning models. But in general, we moved to the tools where just we can uh, make more effective decisions on every topic, politics, games, different things. Okay, who's thinking dating applications when they hear this? What do you see as at least one of the things that has to happen to get there? I'm not sure if I can name you a killer that right, right away. That would be great if I could. But um, we definitely uh, need to do some work right now in terms of building because the year before, 2018, was um, about talking about explaining what blockchain is. And now what our panel is about is about use cases. And I think that the, the next killer app would be with a lot of use, not only of blockchain, but it will be used blockchain as a technology, as a protocol that is not the main thing, but which you can leverage for your benefits.